What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. So you guys saw yesterday we got hit by one of our allies, basically decided to be a total douchebag and come attack us like that. Which is a bummer. Um, it's kind of an eye opener for us. It's kind of like a way for us to, I mean, people are like doing whatever they can to rate us. A lot of people want to do it because like, oh, I'm on YouTube. I get 2,000, 3,000 views per video now. People want their name out there. They kind of want to see it. Like, um, one thing a lot of people do, like for example, in real life is completely frozen right now. People do crazy stunts in real life or uh, borderline illegal things in real life to make the news. Uh, something similar is sort of happening here in a backwards way. Where people are like, hey, this guy's 2,000 views. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do something dumb. And so that's kind of what's going on. And so this location where I'm standing at right here is where the base was yesterday, and it's now the location of our brand new turret tower. So turret towers, they're my favorite things to do. I love making them. Every chance I get, what in the world, man? The placement in this game, fantastic. What do do you see this? Okay, but turret towers are amazing. This rock and the rock over there in the distance, right over there where I'm looking, those two rocks are locations where they can either be used very heavily in our favor or very heavily against us. If people start to come to these rocks and build their own bases here like the one tribe did when they raided us, well that's not really good is it? That's not a good thing at all. And so I'm going to build one base here with a bunch of turrets. I'm going to build a separate base over here with a bunch of turrets. Two completely separate bases, that way if you break into one you still have to get inside the other. And uh, this is basically the idea right now. We're going to do a really big defense push before our next raid because I don't know why. I just have this feeling deep down inside my belly, deep in my full belly full of food right now, that uh, we're going to get hit probably very soon from someone. And I'm not sure who or when that's going to happen. Who or when? I don't think I said that right. But I'm pretty sure soon we're going to get hit. So I'm going to go ahead and build this today. None of my tribe mates are online. I was hoping they would be so that we could go ahead and do a little quick raid today. We actually have a new target, someone with a reason to raid, which we'll talk about later. I don't know if they watch my videos. I don't want to tip them off to it if they do. But uh, it's going to be... Dang it. I suck at this, man. There's There's got to be a better way. Didn't they add in the most recent update? Or they discussed adding like a way to rotate once you place? They said like once you aim it, you could like rotate it. I don't know if that's actually pushed out yet live. But anyway... I was thinking today, you know, I was sitting here doing my thing, uh, stressing over school. I bite my fingernails like crazy, so I was biting my fingernails off and uh, had this thought. Did I get ceilings? I made a few ceilings. That's okay. I had this thought. I get super anxious. Like, I get like really anxious. That's like a problem I have when I don't have work to do. Like, when I'm sitting here, like today, for example, my uh, Tuesdays, what, today's Wednesday. My Wednesdays are like free days, essentially. I have one 8 a.m. class, I work out, then I'm home doing homework, making videos. But, like, if I don't have a lot of homework and I finish, it's a free day. And for whatever reason, that makes me so anxious. And I realized that I absolutely hate more than anything having a free day like this, like a day where I can just do whatever I want. I hate it. And I think the reason I hate it is because as I sit there doing nothing, there's just like part of me that's like thinking over and over of all these other things I could be doing every moment I sit there. And I'm like, I could be getting better at videos. I could learn Photoshop. I could make better thumbnails. Um, just, I actually want a couple windows out here. It might be useful. But like, I'm always thinking like, what can I do to get better? And that's like something that's always on my mind. And I, it's not something I've always done, not my whole entire life. I used to be really lazy. I used to, um, I used to just come back from class, sit here, do nothing. Like literally would watch Netflix all day. And uh, I don't know what happened. It's like lately my mind has been different making these videos maybe or just like talking about this stuff. But it's like being free, not having something to improve on, not like making every moment matter. Not, I don't know, something about that kills me kills me absolutely to the brim and uh, that's just something i want you guys to think about like when you have free time is that something that you guys like enjoy a lot like i used to love it and now i'm sitting here like in free time and i'm like i cannot wait until i get something to do whether it's work or man that's just something that i've been thinking about lately like every single minute of free time you have is not that free time's bad free time's a great thing to have it's great to uh do, like great to relax great to like just enjoy life not go crazy over the work you're doing but it's like every single minute of free time you have is a minute where you're not getting better at that one thing you're trying to do. And like in me, at least it's not in everyone. There's just like this drive somewhere inside of me that ever since I was young, like very young, I've always wanted to be like just very, I don't know, very uh, influential in my life. Like I want to make a difference in people's lives, uh, whether that's a difference by making videos, a difference by doing environmental engineering. I've just always wanted to help change lives. And that's something that like, that's kind of like my passion deep down inside of me, changing lives, making a difference in lives. Um, it's just something I really want to do. This is looking good, by the way. I really like, uh, I really like this base design. 
this is my classic turret tower design, you know, nothing, uh, nothing super special, but it looks all right. So that's just something that I was kind of like thinking about today. Like as I'm sitting here trying to get through my hydraulics homework, like I, I just start freaking out because the hydraulics homework was easy. And normally that homework, I set aside like six or seven hours to do in groups of like five people. So we can like get at least half of it finished without getting a zero. Cause it's just so difficult today. I finished it in like an hour and I just sat here and sat here and sat here. And I'm like, what am I supposed to do now? And it honestly, it felt horrible. It felt absolutely terrible. And I just thought that was weird because I've never felt like that in my life before. But then once you like, or at least once I figure out like this goal I want or whatever it is, whether it's this or engineering or piano or whatever, it's like you set your mind on that goal and you just like have to get it no matter what happens. And uh, that's just something, I don't know, something kind of cool I'm thinking about. I bet a lot of people do things like that. I think it's, I personally think it's a good thing to get into a good habit to have um, when you're like just driven like that. I don't know. It makes a difference, that's for sure. But like where the idea came from is like, I never really thought about it. Like I got home, I was like, yeah, let's enjoy some free time. I deserved it, it was a long day. Then I saw Casey Neistat, you guys might watch his videos. He's a fantastic vlogger, one of my many inspirations. And he had a video, one of his older ones, where he said, free time is the enemy of, he said, free time is the enemy of progression. And I was thinking about that and like it just stuck with me so much and he's so right like to get where you want to go Whatever it is. No one becomes successful on accident. Okay, that's something that I think about a lot No one accidentally becomes successful unless maybe they're super lucky or maybe something I mean basically you have to be lucky to accidentally become successful, right? Otherwise, you're purposefully. Oh look we got a little baby turrets. We can get three each on here We'll just go with one for now though because I don't think I have enough on me to do three each but um, that's kind of the whole point here. You don't get to where you want to be by accident. You don't get to be the best sports player, the best engineer, the best scientist, nurse, doctor, whatever you're trying to get to be. Everyone wants to be something. Everyone has something they want to be the best at or be good at or successful at. And no one gets there by accident. So like when you're like putting in long hours, when you're struggling from work, when you're having a long day at school, whatever the case may be, remember that all of the effort you're putting in one day will pay off because it has to if you're actually putting in that effort if you're actually trying to learn not just going through the motions every day a lot of people go through the motions a lot of people i know go through the motions and expect to be successful and accept to get there and i'm not saying i am successful right now i'm not saying that i'm in a situation where all my hard work's paid off but i'm saying in small pieces i'm seeing it come together i'm seeing small things every single day in terms of lives impacted like that's how I'm measuring my success and everyone's success is measured differently. All right. My success is how many lives I impact. And I, I truly, truly believe that like that's kind of just my passion. That's what I want to do. And uh, someone else's their success may be lives saved if you're a doctor or maybe um, children taught if you want to be a kid's teacher. Like there are so many different ways to be successful in this world. And what matters is that you figure out your own way to be successful and you actually try to do that. I mean, I'm only I'm only 21, guys. I don't really know much about life. I don't know much about the much about my future, where it's going to take me. But maybe this naive view is something a lot of young kids have, or maybe it's actually the truth. But right now, I fully believe that if dang, I can't get up there. I just I just can't do it. I just can't get up there. If you believe in yourself, if you have that goal, if you have that passion for whatever it is you want to do, that was embarrassing. I don't want to talk about that. Let's just take these. These seem doable, right? Uh. <laughs> Whatever your passion is guys just figure it out and try to follow it like that's I really want to push that message uh, Whenever I can whenever like I'm feeling pretty awake feeling pretty inspiring. I guess uh, This is difficult to walk on these but oh wait wait wait. What am I doing? I'm placing turrets That's not what you guys want to watch. That's right. I'll do that later. No turret placing right now We can't can't do a turret placing episode again. I guess that's the problem. I get so caught up in what I'm trying to say so caught up in this that I just completely forget that I'm playing arc right now, but um, maybe I should just do a podcast. Just talk to you guys. No, no, no. I like editing videos. Uh, let's go ahead and park up here and um, repair this guy. This base. Apparently, dude who raided me, believe it or not, just openly admitted to it. And I feel like, what the heck? That was a, like explosion door, man. Uh, I feel like if you're openly admitting to raiding me, I just, I just don't want to, don't want to raid you. Like that's respectable, man. He doesn't care. That's what I like about him. Dude's name's Ark. Uh, pretty awesome. I'm not sure why he raided us, but. Uh, I think it's pretty funny. So I want to repair this guy. Um, try to get a lot of my turrets like re reignited, re rehooked up, whatever. Um, let's get that electric stuff out here again. I got a lot of stuff to place down. Is this more interesting than turrets though? Like are turrets like the most boring thing you've ever seen placed? Probably because I do it so often. Um, so we're gonna just have to rewire the floor in here. I don't think there's really much damage other than that. 
and maybe add a few high wires. The way the turrets are placed up here, whoever placed them, <clears throat> it was me, did a pretty bad job at making it so all of these uh, outlets will connect to the wires. So uh, on the topic of tribe members joining me and new tribe members, we have a couple new people that have joined us recently. Um, just some people I've added in that have really wanted in for a while. And and uh, just kind of something I want to talk about with this huge backlog of people joining. Something I mentioned for a while is getting a second server started on the Major 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 Salt Gaming. Is that what it is? Major Salt Gaming server. It's one that I had a lot of fun on. Has a lot of PvP. I think that'd be a great way to have uh, a lot of the uh, extra overflow people join me. that don't want to like wait around for people to like get bored and quit or something. And so man, that Quetzal shakes the whole world. So um, if you guys want to, this is what I'm saying. I've said it before. Go ahead and start a tribe there. Uh, we'll get it all organized in the Steam group, and then we can uh, we can have like multiple tribes. I can come through both of these worlds. There's no bullets in there. What the heck? I can't reach it either. That's kind of lame. Can I reach that one? All right, let's get let's at least get a few bullets in this bad boy. But uh, yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be fun. And um, if you're in my tribe and you're like inactive for like however long, why does that keep shaking so much? Oh my goodness, there's an Arjun up here, and the 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 birds just. He's just shaking like he's just shaking so much. I don't even I had no way to explain that to you I'm, so sorry. That was horrible commentary 1008 versus a 16 who's gonna win this epic battle. Hopefully it's yeah, okay. It's us <laughs> Okay, most of the turrets are up got a few the uh, still need to be placed I know I know you don't like watching this I'm just gonna place a few just place a few in the front front area Maybe I'm gonna put some inside this time uh, It'd be cool to actually place them like up on the ceiling right here. Um, let's see no Oh, I can put them on vaults, guys. Brilliant. Vault turrets, the new future. I didn't know you could actually do that, honestly. I've never tried to play Son of Vault. Because vaults are a little bit endgame, and I'm kind of not endgame, because I suck at this game. But I like that. It looks pretty good. We got turrets back here. Obviously, we don't want them to be able to hide behind this building. Why is my bird going crazy? Yo, what's up, dude? Stop. Stop it. Let's get one more turret. Let's just, I don't know, let's put it back in the corner right here. I think that's a pretty good location. If I can get out. No, I can't. Okay, put it back in the corner. It doesn't have to face forward because it'll automatically rotate 360 degrees. I'm a pretty big fan of the small turret mod too. It's pretty nice, pretty cool feature. And do we have enough gasoline in here? 570, that'll last for a good while. This thing's taken care of. Uh, please don't rate it if you're watching this video. There's literally nothing inside the vaults and it's not worth your time. This is just here. So if people try to raid us, they can't stand up here and snipe us easily. All right, I was just talking to one of our tribe members about only using uh, local chat or tribe chat or we might get raided. And I just realized that I always put these videos on the internet for everyone to see. So that was kind of dumb. But here's the idea now. Uh, beautiful waterfall. Isn't that just a lovely view? Let's take it in for a second. Okay, that looks good. And look at him using global chat again. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll teach him. He'll get. He'll be good. So right here, uh, we're going to build another miniature turret tower over here in the water. This is where I discuss kind of this weird glitch in Ark where this water is technically water, but it's also kind of weird water in the sense that look at my vision underneath the water. I can like see forever. So what if we, for example, built a turret tower down here that had wire and outlets that extended out the river all the way up the river and acted as a, uh, acted as like a underwater roam of turrets. Okay, I just whipped this thing up real quick. It's uh, not finished because I don't have enough ceilings with me, but basically we're going with the uh, double generator design this time. Uh, it'll be good to have two generators because this area is going to be a pretty crucial spot as we continue ex to expand across the river and just make it harder to cross the gap. And it's kind of funny. The water like flows right into the base, which is kind of awesome. So I think this is connected to that one, which is perfect. And let's see, does it also connect to this one? Is it going to line up perfectly? I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. What's how do you do this guys? How do you make the wires connect to two generators? I guess you place the wires first, then you place the generators after, right? Let's get rid of this guy. Get out of here. Then get out of here wire, not the metal floor. I do that a lot. You, wouldn't, oh, you guys wouldn't believe how many uh, metal floors I demolish. So I believe if we extend this over to here, then place the generator on it. Boom. Now they're both on the same uh, wire thing. So that's good for us. Now, the extending the wire into the water. Let's see. Uh, let's see about how realistic this plan idea is here. All right. So, uh, can you see it? You can't see the wire. Maybe I could go down a little bit with like one of the sloped wires. But uh, huh, that's not really too bad, honestly. Can't see where this one's going. Uh, six. Can you see that either? I mean, you can barely see it. But like, if we do that and add a couple electric boxes here on the sides, I'm, I'm gonna take it down before I like flush it out. This is kind of just. This is kind of how I build, guys. I he was killed. What the crap? 
uh, I go through and I just kind of like wing it, see how it works, and if it looks good, we'll uh, we'll take it from there. So that looks good. I'm gonna like flesh it out later. I just kind of show my ideas. Not sure what's going on with this guy. We're gonna have to go check out and see what uh, what the deal is, what the dealio is here. So once this is all taken care of, the uh, generator box will be back here. And we're gonna have multiple generator boxes lining the river. Hopefully, like, uh, hopefully they'll be hidden at least a little bit all the way up to this gate wall that we're building up here, which I will be changing to metal. Like I said, this is just a uh, temporary kind of design to see if it would actually work at all, which it will. I just didn't want to invest in all that metal if it wasn't going to like fit here or something wouldn't work out right. But stone's cheap. We can get enough stone pretty easily on these rates. But anyway, we're going to get this taken care of. We're going to get turrets underlined in the water here because like, look, the birds can land in water, you know? So this water isn't technically, I mean, for some reason, the rivers are coded differently than the rest of the water. So like you could log out underwater, no one could see you there. So if someone comes to raid us, um, they're going to deal with rexes in here, not gigas, rexes roaming and uh, a whole line of turrets roaming or kind of down the middle. What is this dude on Argent up here? What do we have here? What do we have here? Let's, uh, we have the, uh, giant pen started up over here. It's looking good. We're, we're all coming together. I got both the turret towers up. They're not running yet. It's kind of like a bunch of half finished products, which should be finished by the end of tonight. And then, uh, maybe today I'll record another video of a raid. I'm not going to upload both of them on the same day. Cause I just don't like doing that. Cause it gives me a little bit of a backlog. If I need a day, excuse me, if I need a day off, but let's, I don't know what to level up on this guy. I'm just going to leave it, but let's go ahead and um, walk back inside. I'm just going to take care of some of the more boring things you don't want to see. And I'm pretty much out of my, uh, out of my, uh, talk for the day. Talked about, um, free time. What you guys think of that and all that stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys had a, had a good time watching. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Hope you started your week on the right foot because that's really what matters. And uh, I want to thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching every single episode. Thank you for everything. I love you guys and I'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs>